Hi, hello and welcome back after long time uh, fundamentals of uh, computer networking in today's class uh, we are going to understand IP addressing the IP address scheme uh, in the last uh, previous class I don't know if whether you uh, remember when I did and what I did but I remember I did uh, what and why subnet mask and we understood what is subnet mask and uh, how the subnet mask will use to identify uh, computer uh, network bits and host bits in given IP address so in this class we will understand uh, IP address scheme okay let me take one IP address hmm? let me take one IP address 10.0.0.10 10. say this is the most popular and my favorite IP address 10.0.0.10 so if you look at this IP address what you could what you could tell here you could tell the class the class of IP address right and uh, how many network bits how many network bits in an IP address how many host bits in an IP address what is a subnet mask what is a subnet mask and uh, what is a subnet mask in slash notation ok subnet mask uh, I will put S N M subnet mask in slash see most of the books uh, in websites no subnet mask will not be in a dotted format subnet mask will be in the slash format so you have to identify subnet mask in slash format why because in cloud no you cannot put uh, subnet mask 255.255. it is not like that boss you have to type slash format slash 16 slash 24 slash 23 something like that so however we know all this this IP belongs to class A network in class A usually uh, 8 network bits 16 uh, no 24 host bits so which means this bits representing which means this area this octet representing 8 bits which is network and these bits that octets 0 .0 0 0.0.10 representing 24 bits host and subnet mask what is the subnet mask we know the default subnet mask of the previous class the default subnet mask of class A is 255.0.0.0 in slash notation you can put 8 which means representing 8 means 8 network bits in the given IP address this is what we know boss but what we want to know in today's class we will understand what is NID network ID what is FIP first IP what is LIP last IP what is BIP broadcast IP what is number of valid hosts number of valid hosts which means it could be IP addresses how many IP addresses are valid in a given network this is what we need to identify so before understanding we have to understand what is NID, FIP, LIP, BIP we will understand one by one let's move on to the next uh, slide network ID NID means network ID network ID see 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 10 what is this IP address this IP belongs to what this IP belongs to some network ID no it should be some network ID no? this IP belongs to 10 network by looking at the first octet uh, you can identify this IP belongs to 10 network you can easily tell but the problem is you have to uh, give the network ID if in in a routing no, especially in routing we will understand in the later classes in <coughs> some of you may laughing huh? the next class will come after three months or six months no no uh, next class will be coming in the next week definitely uh, due to my lot of commitment health issues a hmm? uh, lot of other commitments only okay uh, no no nothing problem everything is super everything is going fine 
uh, some due to some my lot of commitments that's why i couldn't do so from here after no no i don't tell i will uh, make classes so let us understand come back to the topic understand network id what is network id boss network id network id it is used to identify the area of computer see i will tell you in a general english huh? i always used to tell this network id it is used to identify the area area of ip address okay ip address so you will understand what is network id the importance of network id in the routing concept which i cannot explain you now but you just understand if a computer has 10.0.0.10 ip address no if computer has this ip address this computer should belongs to network id which one 10 network id how you represent in a number format you will say 10 network boss but uh, how can you represent how can you write the network id so that's why if you want to write a network id in a number there is a small formula there is a formula what formula to get the network id of any ip address apply all no apply zeros in all host bit simple logic okay simple format apply zeros in all host bits let's take a thumb rule this is a condition this is a rule hmm? let's take this ip address this is network bits this is host bit this area this area host bit in binaries hmm? in binary where is that uh, the name you no know? i copy this maybe this is very lagging bro. okay but uh, no problem i am not going to teach uh, uh, any more regarding this subject that's why i'm giving in detail maybe i will do the same topic same in a tamil language uh, in other language also i'm planning to do but do you think this is a last uh, series which uh, uh, hereafter i won't take any classes for networking so whatever i know networking i will teach you here let's take this uh, 10 network uh, ip address 10 network no this is constant pa huh? 10 network 10 constant this a uh, network id no sorry let me put like this so that easily identify 8 bits network uh, the green representing host bits green representing host bits which means i have to apply zeros in all host bits what i have to apply zeros in all host bits to get the network idea okay ma this is a ip address this is ip address and i have to apply zeros in all host bits to get the network id if you apply zeros in the host bits what will what would be the ip address uh, network id 10.0.0.0 say this is very easy to tell 10.0.0.10 is ip address 10.0.0.0 is a network id we can tell this easily but the only why i'm why i'm telling you in this manner why i'm lagging this subject uh, which i can finish in one line because i'm going to teach you subnetting remember that i know how subnetting is difficult if you want to learn subnetting if i want to make you subnetting easy but i have to teach you to find out the network id host ip first ip last ip broadcast ip this manner only are you able to understand what i am trying to say i am going to teach you subnetting definitely for understanding subnetting you have to understand the getting the network id identifying the first and last ip address in this manner only then only you can easily understand subnetting so how to find out the network id network id by applying zeros in all host bits you will get network id so if you go back to this 
you put network ID 10.0.0.0 so this is the network ID are you clear next now let us understand and identify the host IP address host IP address which is first IP address first IP address first IP address what is first IP address first IP hmm? uh, the first IP is a first IP address only there is no definition for first IP okay for every network this is the network ID 10.0.0. is a network ID in that uh, you will have one first IP address no if you take a movie hall there will be a first seat there will be a first number for the seat no similarly you will be having a first IP address of every network but how to find out the first IP you can tell easily 10.0.0.1 .0 is a first IP that's all why should I have formula again I am repeating the same line if I want to make you subnetting easy I have to tell the formula to identify the first IP last IP broadcast IP in 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 subnetting so that you can feel very easy to understand what is subnetting most people will be uh, struggling to understand subnetting because of they don't know the formulas of identifying the first second I mean last IP whatever so that's why apply this formula to get the first IP address what I have to do this one apply apply zeros in all host bits hmm? except except last octet last octet just one minute last time I given some wrong uh, spelling yeah correct only last octet last bit hmm? so the last octet last bit is set to 1 I'm telling you I'm telling you in binary pa hmm? binary number I'm telling you in a binary understand that so what I'm telling 10 network constant leave it host bits in host bits you put all zeros till last uh, this is the last octet this is the last bit you put one here you put one here if you put one here what happens now you convert hmm? 10 dot this is 10 network huh? 10 0 0 and then 1 because you put 1 right so this octet combination will become 1 so the first IP address of the network is 10.0.0.1 I write down here 10.0.0.1 this is a formula and this is IP address so let me apply some formula to identify the last IP address of the network so let's take last IP address last IP address so apply zeros in all host bit bits except last octet right I will put in vice versa apply ones in all host bits except last octet last bit the last octet last bit is set to zero now so what I have to do I have to make it all ones instead of zero I remove all zeros here as per the formula I will put 111 because the formula says to identify the last IP uh, you have to put all ones in the all host bits except the last octet last bit the last octet last bit is set to 0 if you use this combination what values you will get here this is as usual 10 bar it will not change by, by because 10 network so this will become 11111 we know right in binary number system we understand 128 plus 64 plus 255 
same 255 again 254 not 55 why because last bit last octet 0 so this is a value so if you take 10 network the first IP address will be this last IP address will be 255 dot 255 dot 254 okay this is done then identifies the broadcast IP we have already discussed about the broadcast IP if you remember what is broadcast IP you can recall broadcast IP what is broadcast IP uh, usually in computer network no in computer network you have lot of computers in the 10 network just imagine you have lot of computers in 10 network in this this is 10 network 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. this is 10 network ID in computers 0 .0 0.0.1 which is 10 network huh? 0 .0 0.0.2 0 .0 0 0.3 0 0.4 huh? 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 like that if one computer computer 1 wanted to talk to computer 3 so it will use this IP address to communicate one IP one IP communication if computer 4 wants to talk to, to computer 12 so source IP 4 destination IP will be 12 but if any one computer in the network uh, wanted to talk to everybody in the network which means if it wants to send a broadcast message to everybody then there is uh, some reserved address okay uh, in a classroom if I want to call one person I will use his name to call that person hmm, in student but uh, if I want to call whole class if I want to convey a message to whole class which I can use the word called students so students is a word uh, given to a common a group of people okay this word is called broadcast here hmm. similarly uh, we cannot use network ID as a broadcast the network ID is identify the area of computer that's all but broadcast is a special reserved address which helps to communicate in broadcasting we will understand in the later uh, uh, topics uh, where we do broadcast and how broadcast will works but for today for so far I will tell you the formula apply see it's a quite simple apply all apply ho apply once in all host bits that's all simple apply once in all host bits to get broadcast IP so what we have to do you erase the last bit 0 to 1 make it 1 now what will be the value per here 250 5 255 so this is broadcast IP this is broadcast if you go back 10.255.255 255 okay so this is a broadcast IP address hmm? so what is number of valid hosts I will give you as a homework okay hmm? so finally we have to find out number of valid hosts so how to find out a number of valid valid hosts uh, this we can uh, understand in the next class till this uh, we will uh, wait we'll see in the next class thank you